Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. I've got, this is a good topic, okay? I, we did a, a video about what is the best humidity setting for your home, and we got a comment about uh, this person has a dehumidifier installed in their crawl space. The humidity is low in the crawl space, but the humidity is not low in the living space. So, you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I tell you that if you control humidity in the crawl space, it should help control humidity in the rest of the home. So where is the problem here? Why is the home high in humidity while the crawl space is low in humidity? Stay tuned. So if you did a crawl space ninja, we talk about humidity control, crawl space encapsulation, basement waterproofing. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell, and follow us on Facebook. So this is one of those weird situations, right? There's never a one size fits all answer to most, if not every problem out there. So I'm gonna read what Jeff said. And uh, Jeff wrote us on, it's like I said, what's the humidity setting or the best humidity setting for your home? And I'll put a link to that video down below if you wanna read that. But here's what Jeff said. My crawl space with an April Air 1820 set to 50% has been sitting around 35% this summer while I fight to keep my home below 60%. So the dehumidifier is set at 50, the crawl space is at 35, but his home is still at 60, okay? I suspect my AC is all just ending up in the crawl space somehow, adding a 35 pint dehumidifier is showing signs that I might be winning the battle a little in the living space. Only been a couple of days. I have a five zone mini split, and while the dry mode helps significantly, it tends to make the house crazy cold. Okay, so basically what he's trying to say is those mini splits, they have a dry mode on them, and what they're trying to do, instead of focusing on temperature, they're now focusing on humidity. So they will run until they reach a certain humidity level and they don't care how cold they make the house. That's why his house is really cold. So here's some of the things that you need to make sure of. Mini splits are a little different than central HVAC, but you've got to make sure that they're not pumping out moisture. So if you've got an HVAC unit and you can get a pinless humidity reader and you can put it on the outblowing side of the HVAC and I want you to check and see what the moisture level is. Most heating and air units should be blowing out between 35 and 45% relative humidity while they cool the house. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to turn off the AC portion and just run the fan and also check the humidity. I don't know if Jeff has a fan mode where the fan kicks on to circulate air or not, but also check to see what type of humidity is being blown out if you've got your fan circulating without the coils being engaged, okay? Because a lot of water can enter into your home through your HVAC unit. Now, central HVACs are a little bit easier to diagnose. Normally, if the unit is oversized, it can short cycle and turn off and not control humidity in the living space. Or if the coils are dirty, you haven't had it maintenance in a while, it can have a lot of condensation built up because perhaps the condensation line is clogged and that humidity is just sitting right underneath the coil and blowing air out, kind of like air blowing over a lake and picking up that moisture and throwing it into your house. So Jeff, the first thing I would do, check the humidity coming out of the fans with and without the coils engaged. So with it being uh, cool and then just with the fan running. And if you're seeing high humidity coming out during any of those two stages, call your local HVAC company, have them come out and do a maintenance and also do a load check to make sure your AC is not bigger than your house. Do those two things for me and see if that helps. And if, if that's not the fix, it sounds like you've already got the fix in place with that 35 pint dehumidifier and sometimes you do have to add extra dehumidification sounds like you've already done that but i would also check your ac as well i'm michael church with crawl space ninja we hope you make it a happy and blessed day see you later